they overplay their hand when they think they're winning. That's a very common trait for ideologues. And the reason, arrogance, the reason why that happens is, is right down to why, what happens when you believe in an ideology, in dogma. When you adopt a dogma, an ideology, with which you're seeking to change reality, yeah? So think, for example, communists who believe in dialectical materialism. That change only occurs when you encourage conflict through, through the Hegelian dialect, yeah? And you encourage that conflict, exploit that conflict and the, and the, and the unease that comes and then bring a solution. See, you're working to certain ideological dogma about what reality looks like through a lens of ideas you've adopted, this idealism that you have for the future. It's why most of those types of people usually become tyrants, because they're blind to reality. They're thinking just in terms of their dogma. There's a weak spot there, huge weakness. When dogma defines your behavior, you're no longer looking at reality to define your behavior. So you're going to be less pragmatic and more dogmatic because you're led by ideology and dogma. That leaves serious blind spots. You end up not seeing reality for what it is. And that's why they overplay their hand, because they're not looking to reality, they're looking to their dream, right? Their ideal, which is actually a nightmare. So there's one great thing that happened over COVID, and that is they overplayed their hand, and they exposed themselves to everybody here in this room. Yeah? There's now... There's now very little doubt among people that have heard of the World Economic Forum that it's attempting to influence how we do government and politics in this country, even though Klaus Schwab isn't British, right? Why do we have an unelected bureaucrat and a foreign one at that, yeah, telling us how to live our lives in Britain? It doesn't make sense. But then you go further. Why do they all appear to be beholden to this unelected foreign bureaucrat? Why do they all appear to be doing this man's bidding? And when you start thinking of things in that way, and you think, why can't they just say no? And start digging a bit more, you then realize what Epstein's black book was about. They can't say no. Because there are, they talk about compromat, compromising material and information, political blackmail, or you then get Epstein if you don't agree suicided, it becomes, that's when you start realizing that this is a global palace coup. 